I guess my hope is the same thing that I hope for health care and addiction treatment and mental health, that it helps to humanize environments. Um, that uh, it, in addiction treatment, when I entered the field in the 1970s, it was extremely authoritarian, in, in the United States at least. Uh, that, that, you know, shut up, you don't know anything, you're an alcoholic, I'm going to tell you what you have to do. Uh, which is not an approach that people take too kindly, but, but that was accepted as the norm. And even that's the, that's the only language those people can understand, which is a very demeaning way of thinking about the people that you're serving. You know? uh, Steve Rolnick right now is writing a book on motivational being in sport. And sports coaching is a place that can be highly abusive and, and authoritarian, but doesn't have to be. What we're talking about is the, is the absence of domination uh, and the presence of collaboration and, and bringing out the strengths and talents of the people around you. If I were looking how what we've learned might be useful in leadership, I'd be talking to leaders, first of all, because they're, they're the ones who are going to know. And trying things out, not, not assuming we've got it right, you know. Uh, and this is how we did motivational living from the beginning. We, we generated some ideas, but we always tested them. Always, because I've learned over 40 years of research, I'm often wrong, you know. Often uh, what, what I expected I would find is not what I found. And what I found was often better than what I expected to find if I paid attention to it and, and learned from it. Uh, and I, 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 wouldn't be, I wouldn't be selling an approach. I wouldn't be saying, yeah, you need to be a motivational interviewing leader, you know. It's a, no, I mean, what, what I would be saying is, here's some things we've learned about human interactions and, and how change happens. And, and I don't know if that's going to be useful to you or not, but I can tell you what we've, what we've learned in our context, in our culture. Uh, and it does seem to cross cultures pretty well, this, this taking the lower place in a, in a dominance in a, in a conversation, and try it out, you know. So, that, and that's kind of where we are. I, I, don't, I don't think we've got definitive answers about, um, you know, this is the answer for leaders or whatever. It's, it's some knowledge earned through pretty hard scientific work for, for 40 years. Um, and I suspect that it has something good to tell us about how to be managers. And I was indeed a manager and uh, director of a large uh, program myself. Um, and the first thing I did was go off to management school because I knew there were things I did not know and hadn't learned in, in graduate school. But then these skills also were very useful to me. Uh, and and um, I enjoyed working with the people that I worked with, and I hope they enjoyed working with me as well. And it, it didn't feel like it, like something different. It was the same way of being. Um, yeah. So I guess that's what occurs to me, and and just giving away what we what we've learned.